Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to uh, try to find Burstars Falls in uh, Castle Crags Park, Northern California, close to Manchester. And this is uh, the end of summer and, uh, well, I'll tell you up front that uh, I will get to the falls, but uh, there is no water, so if you are expecting to see spectacular waterfalls, then this is uh, not the video. But it's not always about the destination, it's also about uh, the travel to get there. So this video is more about the travel to get there and what you may encounter along the way. And uh, one of those things uh, happened to be uh, a snake. So in a few minutes I'll show you the footage of the snake that crossed my path. But anyway, this is uh, the beginning of the trail. This is called the uh, Dog Trail. And uh, this is a quite, well, challenging not too challenging but it's it's a uh, it's a climb as you can see here already I'm already quite a bit higher than where I started <clears throat> and so the first part of uh, getting to burst house falls is um, this dog trail which goes up and then it will um, connect to the Pacific Crest Trail and <clears throat> From that point on, it's uh, easier, uh, easier going. It's more level and than this first part. And also, dog trail, the trailhead. It's not marked. It's difficult uh, to find. Oh, by the way, here's the snake. I'm not sure what kind of snake it is. Um, previously, I had encountered a rattlesnake. But this, I don't think this is a rattlesnake. But what it is, I'm not sure. It's like... This was also bigger than the snake that I had seen before. <clears throat> anyway, this uh, snake didn't seem to be bothered at, at all by me. Uh, <clears throat> but since he was uh, halfway across the path, I thought, well, don't want to step over him and, or her and startle, startle it. So I just waited patiently for it to move, which it started to do here. And uh, very graciously it made its way to the other side of the, the trail. But anyway, I was just saying that uh, the, the trailhead of this dog trail is not marked. It's difficult to find. It's um, just outside the boundaries of uh, Castle Crags State Park. And it's really just a... An open clearing at the side of the the road there. <clears throat> and uh, well, you don't know that you are on dog trail until you get to the connection with Pacific Crest Trail because there you will see a sign leading back showing that indeed it is dog trail. Well, anyway, this was a beautiful end of summer day. Beautiful in terms of weather, not too hot, but there was many, many insects flying around. And that was not so pleasant. Anyway, you can see, well, getting higher and higher. 
and very soon we'll get to Pacific Crest Trail. There in the distance you can see the road that I started from. Well, not exactly that location, but uh, the continuation of the road. So here we're getting to the Pacific Crest Trail. So once you get here, the most uh, strenuous part of the hike is over. Now you can see the sign. Dog trail, that's where I came from. And we go to the left in the direction of the Trinity Divide. So this is Pacific Crest Trail. Famous trail on the west coast. And so from here on, uh, Castle Crags itself is uh, to the right, and from time to time you will can you will be able to capture a glimpse by looking right and up. And uh, aside from the many uh, insects this time of year, this is uh, really a beautiful trail to walk. A lot of uh, variation and uh, some beautiful sights from time to time when you can look in the distance. So there's the first glimpse of uh, Castle Crags. In general, I think the best uh, time in the year to hike here is uh, early spring, after the snow is gone, because then there will be uh, water everywhere. And now all the, well, except for one, all the creeks that I passed were dry. Um, but uh, in early springtime, you will have. <coughs> water flowing everywhere and uh, yeah, that makes for a, a nicer experience. Like this specific location, this is now a dry spring, a dry uh, stream. But in spring or springtime you see water flowing down.
It's always fascinating to look at the, the rock formations that uh, I pass along the trail. Different types of uh, rocks here. <coughs> I'm not a specialist, but uh, you can at least see that there are different types. Again, dry stream. So this is a Burstars Creek. This is not the falls yet, but uh, the creek that uh, is uh, downhill of the falls. So this was the only part this time of year where there was some water. And again, many insects, mosquitoes, flies. So like I said, this is not yet the falls. <coughs> the falls are upstream from here. And you'll get there by continuing the path, the trail.
which at that time when I was there I wasn't really sure, so I was looking around, maybe um, <clears throat> there was a way along the stream, but then eventually I decided to continue the trail and see where it would lead me. So that's what I'm doing here. And here it's going uphill again. <clears throat> so until this point it was pretty level, the, the trail. But now we're climbing again. And you can see the many insects flying around. Zigzagging, climbing up the up the hill. view of castle cracks. not clearly visible but down there is the the, um, the riverbed the stream but since it's dry it's difficult to see continues and then we get here to uh, Ugly Creek. So it's not Burstars Creek but Ugly Creek which is uh, I would think uh, we're running parallel somewhat. This still is not the fall, the falls. <clears throat> but as you see, this is also completely dry now. So again, I wasn't completely sure where to find, where to look for the falls. So I actually sat down here and had a little snack. It's a beautiful location to sit in the shade right there. And after my snack, I decided to just <coughs> follow the trail of bit further, see where it would lead to. So that's what I'm doing here. It's going again further up. And then 
after a few minutes there are beautiful views in the distance. So deep down there is where I came from. I don't remember exactly uh, the elevation gain. I'll put it in the description if I don't forget. And there is again a view on Castle Crags. And then finally, I got to the location where this must be the falls. Um, there's no marking, there's no sign, there's nothing to indicate that it really is Bostar's Falls, but from some pictures that I had seen online, this must be it. So you get off the trail here and then when you look down and to the left when there is water flowing and then here you should see some spectacular flows a uh, falls. So my intention is to go back here in the springtime and capture this in its uh, full glory but despite there no being no, no water there this time of year end of summer still it was a, a beautiful hike and glad I made it all the way up here the, the trail continues up going up and up um, I haven't explored it further but uh, I'm sure you'll get some grandiose views. So for now, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.